Welcome to Storybook Nanny. Subscribe for more books read aloud. Pinkalicious Mary Pinkmas by Victoria Can. It was almost Christmas, and my family and I were all busy with our holiday planning. I was so excited. At dinner, we talked about what we loved about this time of year. I love wrapping presents," said Daddy. "I love getting presents," said Peter. "I love making cookies," said Mommy. "I love eating cookies," I said. Peter liked setting up our dad's old train set and pretending that it was going to the North Pole. I liked putting up our handmade Christmas decorations, and we all loved having hot cocoa. After Daddy hung the mistletoe, we took a walk around the block. Look how beautiful and unique everyone's holiday decorations are, Mommy said. Let's make this year's Christmas extra special, I said. Let's add glitter to this year's holiday cards," said Mommy. "Let's make our own wrapping paper for this year's presents," said Daddy. "Let's put up pink Christmas lights," said Peter. "I have an idea," I said. "Let's get a pink tree this year," I shouted. "A pink tree," said Peter. "There's no such thing." Of course there is," I said. "We saw one at the department store. Remember? They come in forest green, gold, white, and pink." I was smiling at the idea, but no one else was. Mommy looked alarmed. Daddy looked doubtful. Peter looked thoughtful. Why weren't they cheering? What could be prettier than a pink tree? Pinkalicious. We always get a real tree from a tree farm," said Mommy. "That's our family tradition." Please, Mommy," I begged. "Besides, there are lots of different kinds of traditions. Some people ride in sleighs. We don't. We sing carols in our car. I marched all the way home. And milk for Santa? We leave Santa a strawberry milkshake." That's a pink tastic Pinkerton tradition. Hmm," said Mommy. I could see that she was thinking it over. Pinkalicious, real tree smells so good. Hmm," <laughs> said Peter, sniffing the air at the thought. I look forward to coming home to the yummy smell of pine. A pink tree would be artificial. I don't want a fake tree. Wait right here. I have just the thing. I said and ran off to rummage through the junk drawer. Ta-da! Feast your nose on this. You won't ever want to leave the house. Hmm," said Peter. I could see that he was thinking it over. Pinkalicious," said Daddy. Where on earth would we keep the tree after Christmas? Our house is jam-packed full of sports equipment and art supplies. That's easy to solve, I said. We'll keep the tree in the backyard. The Blue Jays and Cardinals will be able to enjoy it all year long. Hmm," said Daddy. I could see that he was thinking it over. After a few days passed and we still didn't have a tree, I began to worry. Mommy, just think: if we get a pink tree, we'd be saving a real tree from being chopped down. Can we go today and buy a pink tree? Mommy made her snow angel wings extra big, but didn't say a word. Daddy, Christmas is only two weeks away, and we still don't have a tree. If we don't get the pink tree from the store, he might run out. Can we go right now? Daddy added more snow to our igloo, but didn't say a word. What more could I do? I guess the only thing left was to cross my fingers and toes and hope for the best. It was almost Christmas. We mailed the glittery holiday cards. Our stockings were hung. 
Our Christmas lights twinkled, but we still didn't have a tree. Peter and I were working on a cart for Santa when Mommy and Daddy walked through the door. I gasped, <gasps> then squealed, then I shouted, pink, pink, hooray! We had a new tradition. Now that we had a pink tree, it was time to start decorating it. I placed each rose, fuchsia, and magenta-colored ornament on the tree with care. It was hard for me to fall asleep on Christmas Eve. What would Santa think of our card? Would he like this year's strawberry raspberry milkshake? Would he be surprised to see a pink Christmas tree? What was Santa bringing for me? Peter and I rushed downstairs. Our tree looked pink sensational. Santa left us a note, I said, waving it in the air. He said he's never seen anything like our tree and that it nearly blew his boots off. If he liked this idea, he was sure to like my idea for next year. A pink horrific pink Santa suit. This Christmas turned out to be truly pinktastic. Even the birds liked our new family tradition. If you like these videos, become a supporter of Storybook Nanny.